welcome to the Kia Challenge. You've heard of Carpool Karaoke? Well, this is the Kia Challenge, and today we're in this from Longley Park Kia Club Partner. This is the Kia Stinger. It's a 3.3 V6 twin turbo, available from January. And today I'm doing a Q&A with the one and only Zanka. Physically, it's mentally as well, isn't it? You've got to be mentally strong as well because you are up against some top players. Uh, how 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 do you find that? How do you find that step up to the Premier League? Yeah, I think mentally is definitely the biggest um, uh, challenge. Uh, you know that you usually have been, been playing good players, but not top class players every week. Yeah. Um, I think that's the biggest difference. Physically, we done all the the hard stuff in in the preseason, so basically you're there physically, but in your head, that's where you find those those last five percent to really be on top of your game and I think to be fair we've all done it really well this year. Let's get a bit to know about yourself. Zanka, where, where does that come from and, and obviously everyone calls you Zanka, yeah. where, where does that come from? Well, it, it comes from Cool Runnings, uh, there's a character there named Zanka um, and I had watched that movie when I was a little kid, I was 10 years old and my former coach was the coach at that time had watched that movie as well on the same night and uh, the next day there was an incident where we had to come home from uh, we'd been training far away in Copenhagen in the winter time and we had to get home and I was actually sat in front of the passenger seat it was not really legal I think <laughs> um, but we had to cram a lot of people in a small car right. uh, so I was sat down here and I thought this scene this looks like a bobsleigh, this feels like a bobsleigh. <laughs> um, and I did it and he was yeah. like, oh, and he said Sanka. And from that day, uh, I just think that that was stuck. basically it, stuck. Um, right. I had people from my team that went to my school. So in the beginning, they started calling me on the team. Then it spread to the school. Yeah. Uh, and then basically it just yeah, kept going. And when you've been called a nickname for that long, it just sticks. It just sticks. Yeah. So by the end of high school, teachers, everybody was calling me Sanka. Um, right, right. I think now 95% of people in this world call me Sanka. So that's just me. That's where it came. Yeah. From. How have you settled in away from football? How have you settled in to living over in Huddersfield? Yeah, I, th I think I settled in quite nicely. I have a, a nice house. Um, the commute is a little bit different because I live a little bit outside, mm. um, and the traffic is really bad in this country. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I think we're in it now. exactly. So <laughs> I think in that uh, in that regards, um, I was a bit surprised. Yeah. Um, but you get used to the commute, commute, and be actually right now I enjoy having. Um, a little time for myself in the car, yeah. um, listen to podcasts, call some people. Yeah. Um, you're a lot more on your phone when you're not living in your own yeah, country. Yeah. So right now, I think that's it's actually suiting me better than I thought. Going back to football, who, who's been the toughest opponent so far that you've come across? Mm, that's that's difficult. I think definitely Man City has been the toughest one, but I think we really we were um, good on the day yeah. and really played up to to some of our. I wouldn't say best, but we gave him a game. Yes, we we gave, gave him a game, game, game and we, we, yeah. we played, uh, we came in there with the right tactics and, yeah. and, and we're of course a little bit lucky to get a, to yeah. get a goal, but we, we did good. Um, yeah. The toughest game we've had was maybe Tottenham, I think. What about a toughest opponent one on one that you've marked that you've thought he gave me a game? Yeah, I think. I think just the way that Arsenal picked us apart in the last Arsenal. 20 so Ozil was the architect in that game I think really? that, that that we were not our best in that game and that shows if you're not on your best when you play the big teams yeah. you'll get smashed Harry Kane um, he was on fire that day when he met us yeah, as well he, so, he didn't do bad did he? no so we could we could count him as well yeah. your partnership with, with Chris Schindler at the back has been ever consistent I know we had a chat when you came to see us in the suite a few weeks ago so it's a good understanding of you both, isn't it? You seem to play well against with each other. You're listening. You know, you can see Chris organising the back. You're listening to him as well. It's a solid, consistent partnership. And, and I suppose in the Premier League, consistency in all departments, especially centre halves, 
is always always important. Yeah, it's, we know that, especially because we know that we're not going to go out there and score three or four goals every game. Mm. So we know that for us to be successful, we need um, a really good triangle at the back um, with me, Chris, and, and Jonas. Um, especially the, the the whole thing of defending is not just the three of us, but mm. for it to to be able to for us to be able to be successful, we need the three of us to really be comfortable with each other and, mm. and yes, yeah, consistent as, as you said before. That's the, that's the key, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go on to International World Cup. Denmark have uh, qualified. Um, how were the celebrations? Celebrations were good. Uh, we were in... Uh, honestly. Yeah, they were <laughs> They were good. No, uh, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would have been a little bit more fun if we played at home the last game. No, uh, honestly, I've had some in inside knowledge here. Come on, you know why you're laughing. Uh, yeah. I know, you know yeah. what I mean. No, it was good. It was... Um, <laughs> we had fun. We Did had you get fun. home all right? We, we got home late. We got yeah. home late. I but, think you um, did, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, it was all right. We we came home a little bit later. Uh, they missed the flight. And, uh, I've heard. I heard traffic in Dublin as well. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. Even worse than here. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and has Aaron said anything or has he just kept quiet as always and just sort of uh, gone along with it? No, nah, I think, you know, he, as I said before, I think that he's he's quite happy with this. Well, he said, yeah, as long as we beat Denmark, I'm happy. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I think I yeah, think yeah. that's the the thing that we have as well. We just can't can't lose to Australia. You don't want no, you to come don't, home without the bragging rights. And that's your second game, I think, isn't it? That's second second game, game, yeah, it could be a big one because we got through, we got through first, first Australia and then so, France. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you go into the France game with six points, with six points. Be happy. Yeah, of course, <laughs> four of points can do it as well. Absolutely, it's going to be tough for for, for all countries. You know, yeah. you look at uh, and that's that's what it's about. But uh, you look at, I think you've got a, you've got a chance. But mm -hmm. uh, that group is uh, you've got to be. I think that's kind, and you could yeah. have been worse. Exactly, could, could have been worse off. Yeah, could have been worse. Let's have a chat about your teammates. Who, who's impressed you most? In other words, when you first joined the club, you actually thought, "Wow, he's a, he's a he's a player." Mm. I think Phil Billy actually. Really? Uh, because for me, Phil, Phil's Danish, and you don't hear about Phil in Danish. Like if you if you're not, Do you know? nobody knew about him right. before we came into the Premier League. Uh, there's been a few um, news about it as Huddersfield were doing good yeah. last season. Yeah. And I remember that. I remember looking at different news outlets and being like, who, who the hell is that? Yeah. Like never heard of this guy before, and and literally nobody had. And I think coming over here and, and thinking, okay, it's, he's a he's a young player that that's been doing well in, in yeah. the championship side, and actually coming in and seeing the the abilities and, and the things that he can do with the football and and on pitches, that was really what impressed me the most because I didn't, I wouldn't say that I didn't have high hopes for him, but he over exceeded my expectations. Really? Yeah. Who is the most consistent? Training, playing, professionalism. Who, who's the one that you could say is the most consistent throughout? Yeah, I think Chris Schindler. I think that that's that's Shindy. He really, he is Mr. Consistent. I think he's been doing really, really well for us this year. Yeah. Um, performing on a on a high level, and and he does take. He, he really goes into into trainings, wanting to win and wanting to defend yeah. every time, and and that's something that that I've. That I can see that I could maybe add to my game a little bit more. Um, this um, approach to training that Shinji has, that's, that's really yeah. something special. Zanke, thanks very much for your time. No I've really, really enjoyed it. And, and the car, impressive, isn't it? It drives smooth, doesn't it? It really is. Mm. It's, uh, it drives very smooth, very impressive. And uh, thanks to Longley Park Kia, loyal club partner, for letting us have this opportunity of driving it. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck Thanks over so. the next few games. Ladies and gentlemen, Zanka, <laughs> top man.